so done. They've got mommy's pass. Got everything out. Hey everyone, it's just gone half past seven and I am all ready for the day. I'm not gonna lie, my neck is still so sore. I put some deep heat on it last night and it doesn't even seem to have touched the sides. Um, I need to do the housework, so put away the washing up from last night. I need to do the litter tray, put these things in the conservatory, hoover, get myself dressed, get pee dressed, eat, have a tea, get be ready within less than an hour. I want to take um, the boys to school sort of on the earlier end. Sometimes I just leave it a little bit later so I can drop them off within like a 20 minute ta time span. So like from 20 to, 20 to eight to like nine o'clock. And I normally get there just after 10, part, 10 to nine just because it's quiet and there aren't as many cars there. So I like to do that, but I want to get into the city this morning ASAP. So this is breakfast. I've got shreddies with milk and a tea. And have you got the same? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and are you eating it? Yeah. Good. P has decided that she's not gonna eat hers. She's eating mine instead. There's no difference. They're the same. Do you know that? No, I'm taking the Right, I'm just setting my video to upload throughout the morning whilst I'm not here. I don't know if it's just me. It happens every single year. I don't feel festive. I feel more festive in November or July than I do right now. And I get really... I don't get upset, obviously, but I just get really low... The fact that it, today it's, it is a week away until Christmas. I haven't watched a single Christmas film. As in, like, I, what, what have I watched? I've watched, like, the crappy TV ones, like the rom-com ones that started in November, which are rubbish. It's okay, I'll sort it out in a minute. In a minute. Um, but I haven't watched, like, Home Alone. I haven't watched... I will. I haven't watched Polar Express or The Santa Claus or Love Actually or The Holiday and I just don't understand why I get to this point of the of the month. I've been to garden centres and it just gets me a bit down because I've just been so busy doing other stuff but then I also don't know what I've done this month. It's a really weird catch 22, I just can't ever get my head around it. So, I'm not gonna lie, editing has taken up a lot of my time. It's a real big struggle. I know last year, P was napping. So I was able to edit when she napped and that didn't really eat too much into my evenings. Whereas now, my evenings are editing and I go to bed. So I do lose a lot of my time. But I choose to do Vlogmas, so it is just what it is. I think next year, if I do it, and when I do it, I'm gonna do a lot more pre-recorded videos and not as many, like, daily vlogs. Anyway, I'm going to go and sort pee out. My feel lights just come on. I hate that. Why come on before Christmas? Um, right, so now on the way to the city, it's nine o'clock. I wanted to be in at nine. I'm so worried about how busy it's gonna be. Primark is hell. I hate Primark. Especially, our, we've got a temporary Primark at the moment because um, our older one is getting redeveloped. So, I want to go there. I need to get Neil a pair of jeans. That's priority. I also want to get him a onesie, but I don't know if they sell them anymore. And I could have got one on Boohoo for like 20 quid, but I just don't want to spend 20 pounds when he should have told me a lot sooner.
nine. Just that one. Ready? Here it is. Right. Well done. Do you know what the bird's called? A robin. A robin. Good girl. So we're now home, it's half past 11. The city was manic when I left. But I managed to get everything that I needed to get. Couldn't get Neil a onesie. They don't exist in the style that he wants. He wants like a tracksuit style one. And they only had fleecy ones. I wasn't able to get him a onesie, but I did get him some other bits. So I managed to get some photos printed for the frames that I got yesterday. I got my husband card. Why are cards so difficult to find when it's all like mushy gushy stuff? I just want a card that says, you're all right, but it's all like, oh, for the love of my life, I've been searching for you all this time, blah, blah, blah. I got this card for Neil from P. It says, Dad, it's pretty clear I take after you because we're both nuts. And that's what that looks like. So I thought that was quite cute because they are just mental. Then, I literally just, just got stuff in Primark. So I've got a nail, a pair of jeans. I don't know if he's got these ones. He just wanted a blue pair of jeans. I wanted to get him more of like a, a vibrant blue, but they didn't have his size. They only had a 30 waist. The nails are 28. So he's got him 28 waist, 30 leg. These are 10 pounds. Super skinny. He didn't want super skinny. He just wanted normal skinny, but they didn't have his size or his colour. So I've just got him for him. If he likes them, great. If not, he can just exchange them. So they were 10 pounds. It was a last minute gift that he said that he'd, he'd like. So I got him those. And then... I thought sod it whilst I was in there all of the t-shirts were reduced so I thought just to make his present um, a little bit extra I grabbed three of the basic vests not vests t-shirts just because he always wears these whether they'll be under his work uniform or not so got him green I can guarantee you he'll be like why did you get me that color I don't like it I'm gonna return it but this color suits me so it knows the same coloring as me so I thought it would look nice with a pair of black jeans and brown boots and then a nice little bomber jacket. So I got him, um, it's sort of like a green, you can't really see. This should have been two pounds, I got reduced to 180. So I also got him a basic white and then like a mall-esque color. So I got him those as extras. I know I didn't need to, but Neil told me how much he'd spent and I know when you're watching this, my what I got for Neil video will go live after this. Or the day after I've filmed what I've got him and I know it's not about monetary value but he spent so much more money on me than what I have on him and I just felt really guilty so I've just spent an extra 17 pounds on bits that he well he asked for the jeans and then I just spent seven pounds on little extras I also got him a, a new basic hat because he had one that he wears all the time and then he left it at his friend's house so I don't know if he's gonna get it anytime soon or not so I just grabbed him a little grey one a little beanie and that was two pounds he doesn't like bobble hats so I just got him that yes I don't know you put that in a bit um I also got myself two pairs of earrings because tortoiseshell are in and they are cheap so I just got these ones I will take the backs off I don't like the backs so I'll use like my proper backs so I've got some little discs, 
I don't like hoops, I don't like dangly things. I've got a fear of earrings getting ripped out of my ears. So I normally just wear studs, I haven't got any in at the moment. And I've got these, these are really cute for a pound. And they're sort of like green discs, little hoopy things. There we go. And I just thought for a pound, they were all right. Let's put them in and see. They also had them in a tortoiseshell. Oh, I don't think I like those. They're a bit tacky for me. Oh, they feel like they're pulling on my ear. I can feel them jingle. Don't like those. This takes me back to like 2012. Can you see? Probably not because of my hair. Oh, I don't think I like that. What? Do you want? Do you want a tea? Yeah. Yeah? I'm just going to make myself and Pete a tea. We're going to have some fruit and then we'll have some lunch in a bit. And then we're going to sit on the floor, aren't we? And we're going to watch the Polar Express. And you're going to help me wrap up the presents, yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. Please eat a biscuit. Yummy yum. They look delicious, don't they? And then we've got teas. Here's my biscuit. We've put on the Polar Express. And my, my biscuit. your biscuit. We've set out the blanket. Got the Christmas tree lights on. Careful, good girl. You're going to read me some stories, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go through this and circle what I want to watch this year. I haven't even had a little, little look yet. So, hang on. Saturday 22nd. Well, I may as well start from the beginning and work my way through it. I've just taken 20 minutes, half an hour, just looking through my Christmas mag. And I thought I'd talk to you about my TV choices and how I feel about TV over the festive period because this, to me, just screams Christmas. So, 22nd, 23rd, so this weekend, we've got Watership Down recreation. I don't think I liked it as a child, so... I want to watch it as an adult, the new one. It's on at 7.20, so I've circled that. And then, Christmas Eve, I've got... There's quite a lot of movies on, I'm not going to lie. But I also own quite a lot of them. So, Monsters University, Zootropolis. Already got those ones. If not, I would have circled those. The Grinch, Santa Claus. Great. Good festive movies. Sometimes, they don't do that. Whereas, I'm happy with the choices. However... I don't need to watch them because I've already got them. One thing that I do want to watch is Mary Poppins because the new one's out soon, this week, I think. So I want to watch that, so I've circled that. And then actual TV in the evening on Christmas Eve is pretty shite. Christmas Day, let's have a look. Why do they always put on Wallace and Gromit? I do not know, um, but that's on there, but I don't need to watch that. Gruffalo and Gruffalo's Child, we've already got that downloaded, but... They're good options. Uh, Arthur Christmas is on. Muppets Christmas Carol is on. Home Alone 2, which is something that I need. So I I've recorded that? that. That's on early evening. They've obviously got like all the classics like Snowman, Snow Dog, all of that stuff on. I've got a couple of things for Christmas Day, but I'm not blown away. The Good Dinosaur, that's a Disney thing. I've circled that. The Jungle Book, the new recreation of it, um, like the live action one, I've circled that. And Zog, which is Julia Donaldson's new creation. She does like Stickman, Gruffalo, Room on a Broom, all of that. We've got those ones. And then we've got Michael McIntyre's Big Christmas Show, which is on early evening. And then there's nothing on in the evening on Christmas Day at all, I don't think. It seems quite rubbish. Um, but they've got a two hour special of Torval and Dean, which to me is just not festive. Um, and then on Boxing Day it gets quite good. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Princess and the Frog, already got that on DVD. Witches, Roald Dahl, 
Uh, Highway Rat, which is Julia Donaldson. Oh, Trolls, which I wanted to get on DVD, so I'm gonna record that. The new BFG, oh, the man. new David Walliams thing, and then New Year, because I'm just talking you through it all. This is a six minute clip already, epic. Um, Planes, Big Hero 6, Ethel and Ernest, that's something I really recommend you guys watching. If you like um, Raymond Briggs and his um, creation of the snowman, the snow dog, and that sort of style. Well, and Ernest is the story about his parents, and it was so lovely. I remember watching it, and I bawled my eyes out last year. It was incredible. So I definitely recommend watching that. And then we've just got the new James Bond. So that's all I've got on for New Year's Eve. And then New Year's Day, and then I'll leave you all in peace and do my lunch. We have got... Planes, classic Jungle Book, Inside Out, that's something I really want to watch. The new Doctor Who, the new Luther starts on New Year's Day, and The Inbetweeners is something I've recorded because it's Friends Reunited. It's a new thing, it's on for two hours. So yeah, that's what I want to watch. So that is my wrap up of Christmas 2018. She's got jam sandwich and half butter as well, three raspberries, chicken snacks, cheese savouries and then the rest of her nibble biscuit that she didn't eat earlier and then if she eats that she can have a yoghurt and as a treat because I'm really trying to get in the festive spirit and just not worry about housework and stuff which consumes my life we are sitting, I'm going to have to hold this like this because P's got no trousers on um, I've put blankets out, getting all cosy Got your little mat out, didn't you? Mm. There we go. Hello. You're welcome. My camera on. Tomorrow, I'm taking the day off filming again. Hang on, let me just get up my little... I made a little spreadsheet that I did last year. Look. Ta-da! Can you see? I've done that again. I'm not filming tomorrow. Because... Neil's Christmas present video is going live on Thursday and then on Friday P's Christmas Eve box is going live and then I'm going to daily vlog 21st through to Boxing Day so that's my schedule so I've got tomorrow off and Thursday off filming but still obviously doing background stuff I need to reply to my comments I need to stop talking to you I also need a wee right let's do this I'm going through my little gift wrapping stash because my mum can't afford anything even life I'm giving her one of my rolls of gift wrap because I don't need it I didn't think I got this last year but clearly I did because I have a roll that's um, fairly new so I'm gonna give her my sealed one of that I've gone through my Christmas card collection and I've got I've put in a miscellaneous amount so I've got a couple of those ones couple of those ones and then also I've popped in a couple of where are they hang on these ones here oh, can you see that style they're from Poundland the other ones and then these ones are from Tesco's so she's got I think she's got 10 in there so she's got some Christmas cards this is literally like doing the food bank but for my own mum I got her these the other day I don't know why I got this because this is not good value for money at all but I just was stressed with children and yeah I just got this it was one pound for nine so she's got that because she wanted silver and then I've also given her a couple of my traditional bows because I've had these for a while and I don't need them and then just a couple of extra bits of ribbon and stuff so I thought she could have those and then because I didn't buy her any gift tags because I knew I had so many I've put in five different style and the string in there to give to my mum and then if she can't be bothered to write those and just wants to do a sticker then she's got two stickers there and then she's also got these ones as well which I'm going to give to her so she can just write on those for the gifts as well but she's not going to give that many gifts so She's got some options. I'm gonna go and get the boys. So you won't see or hear from me, I don't think, until probably about half five, six, when they get picked up.
Right, this was P's book tonight, Mr. Christmas. And she's picked these ones to read in bed. Okay. Oh, please let me over here. Watch out. Right, love you. I love you. Good girl. See you in the morning, okay? Good morning. Good night. Good night. I'm so tired. I'm drained. So, boys obviously stayed until about six. Then, did housework, put P to bed. I started to film and then my battery died. So, I just edited the video. It's now quarter to nine. This is what I mean when I lose my evenings when I edit and I know it's a first world problem. But I started editing at seven o'clock and it's now quarter to nine and I still haven't finished the vlog. I've still got so much to do, I'm so tired. This is why I have no time for festivities. I am trying to put on the Christmas Chronicles. Everyone keeps telling me to watch it. So I'm going to try and watch that because Neil's still out at work. I don't think he's going to be home anytime soon. Um, so that is trying to load on Netflix, but it's like stuck on 20%. I was going to put on Love Actually or The Holiday. Let me just get comp. But that is like an extra half an hour longer and I'm tired. So... <laughs> I'm going to save those two for potentially tomorrow night and the night after but just because I'm not filming in the evening so I can thoroughly enjoy those. I'm now going to wrap up. <coughs> what is that? It's like a, a mosquito or something. What are you doing in my house? Go away. It's cold. Um, I'm now going to wrap up my grandma's presents and potentially the bits I've got for Neil today just because he's not here and I can get that done. Um... And then I'm gonna have a tea because I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. Warm myself up, I'm gonna take my bra off, take my jeans off, put my comfies on. And yeah, just chill out. Oh no, I also wanna get in bed and read my book. I'm reading Danny Atkins, This Is Love. Is that what it is? I don't know what it's called. I don't think it's gonna be in the back of this one either. Um, I read this. This was good. I recommend that. So I'm gonna stop talking here. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Like I said, tomorrow expect to see what Neil got for Christmas and then the video after that is what is in P's Christmas Eve box and then that is my pre-recorded videos done. I did say I had, I did say I had a how to take my gel nails off video. But I'm just going to keep that, change the intro and then just put that on for January. I've got a video on the back burner. It's not really festive, it was just a filler video. But videos that I've got coming in the new year. I've got a um, bookshelf tour. Books are read in 2018. Honestly, what are these bugs? I've got two in my room. What the hell are they? Um... Books I've read in 2018, favourite books of 2018, um, new house Q moving house Q&A, I haven't done that yet, obviously gel nail video, removal, settling P into nursery because she starts school in January, what else have I got, favourite cleaning products I want to do a video of, I've got like vlogs up my sleeve so if you've got any ideas as to what you want me to film let me know, potentially doing like a weight chatty video as well. So yeah, I'm just going to see what, what comes to me. And obviously I'll fit in vlogs in between as well. Because I know you all like vlogs. But I also enjoy doing sit down videos. Right, I'm going to go.